two of the endorsing bodies in particular have not been holding the checkpoints and contact points that they need to hold with their innovator visa cohort. Now, what are the consequences for you if you've been affected by this? Uh, many dozens of people um, are affected. Well, the guidance first of all requires that they stay in contact with business founders and have the checkpoints after 12 and 24 months. Now, at the point that you come to apply for settlement, uh, if you don't meet the success criteria, then the Home Office has to consider, if you apply, whether you're entitled to an extension. And for the extension, uh, the requirement is the applicant uh, must, if they have or have last had permission as an innovative founder, uh, demonstrate that they have attended at least two contact uh, point meetings with the endorsing body at regular intervals during the period of permission or similar regular checkpoint assessments with their legacy endorsing body. So here, innovator founder under the uh, immigration rules uh, encompassing uh, innovators under the under the old rules. So, uh, so yeah, so th there there is a, a requ requirement there. Now, I'm hoping that this is the exception uh, uh, rather than the rule. But as I say, I mean, if you're in this position and you are maybe earlier on in the in the term, then you'd need to prompt the endorsing body to make sure that this doesn't cause an issue for you later on. Um, surprisingly, there's there's nothing specifically in the settlement rule. So if you do meet the uh, success criteria, you could still potentially qualify even without having the um, assessment. But you could still be vulnerable on the basis that the endorsing body themselves could be audited and if they haven't done the uh, contact point meeting with you then that could come up as an issue so um, yeah i have recently done um, a further uh, successful application for uh, settlement so i think uh, now that makes 10 uh, applications that i've done for people on the innovator route who've successfully applied uh, for indefinite leave to remain and there are fresh uh, questions though that they are asking uh, innovators now and in particular on broader uh, legal compliance so one of the points you need to bear in mind is uh, GDPR and I'll touch on that in the next video thanks bye for now